Hello students, so let's try to solve one more problem and this is from the quantum mechanics and this is from identical particles. So this is very conceptual problem. So this is just a definition based problem. So what we have a system consists of two non-interacting identical spin half. So here the catch is all about spin half particles. The spatial wave function for the individual particle is phi 1x and phi 2x. That is for the first particle, that is for the second particle. Let x1 and x2 denote the position of particles. So x1 will be at the first, so phi1 is for the, phi1 is the state and x1 is the first particle at that particular position. So it is given. And what we have, and it is given that the total wave function of system can be what? So you have to just talk about the total wave function of a system. So here we are talking about the spin half particle. So spin half particle is fermions. So fermions have total wave function is basically it should be anti-symmetric. What is meaning of anti-symmetric? That means if your space part is symmetric then spin part must be anti-symmetric and if your spin part is symmetric then space part is anti-symmetric. So this kind of thing is there. So, so you have to just see the total wave function not that only space part only spin part. So if a spin part is symmetric, space part will be anti-symmetric and if a spin part will be anti-symmetric then a space part will be symmetric and vice versa can be there. So let us check all this thing. So what we have, we can see that uh, this is my space part. So if we will go for that uh, x2 to x1 then this will be the negative sign so this will be anti-symmetric and here you have positive sign so this will be symmetric so anti-symmetric into symmetric is basically this is anti-symmetric wave function the spin part here is symmetric the space part here is what anti-symmetric so yes this is the wave function for this particular uh, two non-interacting spin half particle but you can check another option also here you can say that the space part is symmetric as well as spin part is also symmetric so total wave function is symmetric so this is not the option this is again symmetric so this is not the option here you can see the space part is anti-symmetric and the spin part is also anti-symmetric so total wave function is symmetric so this is not option here again you can go for the space part is anti-symmetric the spin part is symmetric so yes the total wave function is anti-symmetric so option one is the correct one so this is just a definition this is just a definition and how you can write the symmetric wave function and anti-symmetric wave function by using the slater determinant this is all the stuff that you have to know thank you